I don't know if I'm even ready for this haul. Like I went to Kmart the other day and I'm not kidding you. I was there for I think two and a half to three hours. I went to a Kmart that I hadn't been to before. So like the store layout was different. Everything was so stocked. So I just had the best time. It was one of the most wild Saturday nights I've had in a long time. <laughs> no, but seriously, I've got so much stuff here to show you. I am so excited. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've done a precious Kmart haul. So buckle up. I have been so obsessed with Kmart's like clear storage for so long. And it's always one of those things that it's really hard to get your hands on. So this came up in particular were stocked. Like, I mean, piles of clear storage. So I didn't like need any, but I got some because if you didn't know, I'm building a house and I just can't wait to reorganize the shit out of it. <laughs> so first up, I grabbed some of the clear draw medium and wide containers. Now I use these all throughout my house. I've got them in my beauty room. I've got them in my pantry. I've got them in my bathroom. They are so versatile and they're very affordable. So they're a great organization option. I grabbed four of those. <laughs> Next I picked up one of the storage turntables. So this is like a spinning lazy Susan. This one has compartments in it. You can't actually move these, but I have one of these in my beauty room at the moment and I use it to store um, my hair products and hair brushes. Now again, these are really versatile with what you can store in them. I see a lot of people use them in their fridge and their pantries for sauce bottles. If you had kids, you could store like crafts or pencils or something in there. I don't know. You can use them for so many things. And again, they just had a few in stock. So I only grabbed one. I controlled myself, okay. Next, I picked up one of the three tier shelves. Now I love these. I have a few in my pantry already that I use to store all my cans and like spare like jars or sauce bottles or whatever on. The pantry in our new house is quite a bit bigger than the one we currently have. So I thought I would get another one ready to go. I might actually have to get another one, but we'll see. I just think these are great to be able to see all your cans stacked up. Next, I picked up these tiny little containers, but these are the ones with the like clip lids. This was actually in the craft section and I was like, oh my God, that's like a mini version of like the bigger ones. How cute. So I ended up picking up two. And as you can see, I've used this first one to store pens, pencils, scissors, glue, sticky tape, all that kind of stationery. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. You could use these containers for so much. The second one I actually put in it like um, ribbons, bows, uh, things like that for wrapping gifts so that it's all like all together in one section. I can just pull it out. Oh my God. I just, I just love containers. I will try and link everything that I mentioned today down in the description box. So it makes it easier if you want to go and find it. Moving on to some clothing. I picked up a few pieces. I haven't been buying that much came up clothing over the last year. Definitely not as much as I used to buy, but I thought these were really nice. First up are these linen blend pull on shorts. And it was the color of these that sold me like, come on. Now I actually have two pairs of these from last year when they had them available. I've got a black and like a nude. They're super comfortable. They've got a nice stretchy band. They've got pockets and they're a good length. They're not too short, but they're not too long where you just like, they look daddy. These ones were $15 and I picked them up in a size 10. Next, I picked up another pair of shorts and these are a denim pair. They are called the Bermuda Midwash Denim Shorts and they were also $15. I did pick these ones up in a size 12 because I just wanted them to be a bit more comfortable around my waist. Now they are a tight fit, so they are tight to your thighs. I love the wash of these, which is why I picked them up. They are a bit long for my liking, so I am actually going to cut them a bit and just have like a raw edge hem, but they are super high-waisted and I just love the snug fit. And for $15, 
that's pretty good. And then I picked up this black shirt. I don't have it on me because I've been wearing it, but I'll put a photo on the screen. And I just love the neckline of this. It's very on trend. I actually picked up a shirt like this, I think from Supre recently with a very similar neckline and sleeves. <laughs> this one also comes in a white and a blue, which Kmart has been releasing a lot of clothing in this beautiful blue color lately. It's very nice. The fabric of this shirt is like a knit kind of wool blend. So I did size down in it because I find that the knitted wool material clothing items tend to be quite stretchy. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I have been purchasing a lot of Kmart OXX makeup because I want to do a testing Kmart video. I might actually have to split it into two because I have so much stuff here. <laughs> I'll quickly... I'll quickly show you what I think are some of the standout products because I am really impressed with the new makeup. I do think they've taken a lot of uh, inspiration from other popular brands like Too Faced and Huda Beauty, but if they're good, this is gonna be good. First of all is the Bronze Whip Cream Bronzer. Now it does only come in one shade, but for Kmart to come out with a cream bronzer, like wow, how on trend. Next, I have the Limitless Lashes Mascara, and this is definitely giving me Too Faced vibes, but how much nicer does that look than this other mascara that I picked up? Oh my god, this product here is a brow blade pen. So one side is a brow pencil and the other side is a brow pen. I cannot get enough of brow pens lately, and again, to see Kmart come out with a product that is so on trend and like just new, I am, I'm shook. These eyeshadow palettes are really cute. They're little mini ones. This is the Nudes. And I also picked up the Amber. There was actually quite a few different color stories to choose from and the packaging just feels good. Like it's cardboard and it's got a magnetic closure. It's nice. Another one I was like, oh my God, are these liquid lip demi matte lipsticks in mini sizes. <laughs> Again, they had so many different color options. There was like a red, I got the nude. There was like a, like a burnt, like an orangey kind of one. I really hope the formula of these is decent because if it is, I'm going and buying them all because the colors were beautiful. I picked up some lashes. These are in the shade style. <laughs> Abigail. And then I just grabbed some brow products, some more lipsticks. I've got a primer and I've got some face palettes. So a lot of makeup to try. As I said, I think I'm going to have to split it into two because that's a lot to go through. But I have just been so impressed with what Kmart has been releasing in their makeup section. So let's hope that is good. Next up, I grabbed some things for my phone. So I got a new phone case. I love the clear phone cases, but this one had little daisies on it, which I thought was super cute. I also grabbed another glass screen protector. These are only like five bucks and they definitely save my phone. I use them all the time. And then I grabbed a finger grip. I cannot function without one of these on my phone. Like I need it. Mine broke recently and all the Kmarts I went to were out of stock and I had to hold my phone without it and I was like, I felt like a Gumby. <laughs> Next, I picked up a portable charger. This is a very slim one, so it'll be great to just slip into your handbag. I haven't tried Kmarts like portable chargers or really a lot of their tech, so I hope that it's good. It was like $15, I think. Next, I picked up another one of their shopping lists. This time it's magnetic. I don't think the last one I had was magnetic, but I love these because they have categories. So you've got meat, fruits and veg, dairy, home essentials, and miscellaneous. I love having a shopping list just in our kitchen drawer because throughout the week when I run out of things, I can quickly write it down. Clinton can do the same thing and that way I'm not forgetting anything. And then I had to pick up some more highlighters just because I thought the colors were cute. <laughs> Next, I grabbed one of these huge packs of bar soap. Clinton loves classic bar soap and these are only like four bucks. So he gets a stock up of his, of his soap. 
And then lastly, and very randomly, I picked up some kids books. Now, my niece is about to turn three and I just like having a selection of things for when she comes over that we can do together and play with. And I love looking at Kmart's books. Like, I don't even have kids, but I will stand in that section for like half an hour plus just going through the books because they're so nice. So this one is called Ways to Say I Love You. And first of all, it's beautiful. And so on one page, it's got like animals and then the other page, it's got people. And it just talks about the different ways to show that I love you. So garter snakes huddle, people like to cuddle. Oh, so cute. Frogs puff out their throats. People send love notes. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to read it with her. And then I grabbed this one called If I Had a Dinosaur. She has been so obsessed with dinosaurs lately. So I thought this would be perfect. I didn't read too much through this, but I guess it's just about having a dinosaur. Oh, she's gonna love it. I feel like I want to start my own book collection for the day that I have babies because as I said they just have so many good books and I want to buy them all but I'm like hang on Tanika you don't need these like I'm not going to sit on the lounge and read them to myself all right well that is all for today's video I really hope you enjoyed watching and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're excited for the makeup video let me know down below and tell me if I should do it all in one part or if I should split it into two I do have an entire playlist dedicated to Kmart so I'll link that down below if you want to go and binge and if you want to know what makeup is on my face I will also have all the products listed in the description box if you want more from me come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok I actually do a lot of Kmart content on TikTok so make sure you go over there if you want to see store walkthroughs hauls things like that all right well that is all I hope you're having a great day if you're new here by the way hi my name's Tanika <laughs> you can subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you all in the next one bye